friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I am so incredibly excited about this collab. Not only are the recipes from the Skinny Kitchen website, they are all delicious, they are all WW friendly, and when you watch all of the videos in this collab, you are going to have countless fantastic WW recipes. The second best part of this collab is it is hosted by two of my very good friends here on YouTube. First, Barbie Bolanos. I'm gonna put both of the names of their channels here on the screen for you, and they are linked down in the description box below. And also my good friend Lauren over at Luis Lane. Definitely, definitely check out their channels and all of the other channels participating in the collab are down in the description box. You guys have to check them out. You're gonna have an arsenal of delicious WW friendly recipes all from the Skinny Kitchen website. My recipe was comfort food to the max. Delicious, creamy comfort food. So if you wanna see the recipe I have in store for you from the Skinny Kitchen website, just stay tuned. For my Skinny Kitchen recipe, I'm going to be making decadent four cheese mac and cheese tortellini. So not only are we having mac and cheese, you guys, we're having tortellini, and it is all amazingly delicious and WW friendly. So let me show you what is in tonight's recipe. You're going to need some milk or milk alternative. I'm gonna be using this Kroger Carb Master Milk. You can use either low fat ricotta cheese or low fat cottage cheese. I have both, but I decided to use ricotta. Salt and pepper, light butter, cheese tortellini, dry ground mustard, a mixture of cheeses, so I'm gonna be doing low moisture part skin mozzarella and fat free cheese, and lastly, some Parmesan. So this, my friends, is cheesy, cheesy. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first step is we need to boil our tortellini. So I have my water here, just about at a boil. I put in 10 ounces of the cheese tortellini. It takes about three minutes to cook, so we're gonna allow this to cook down, drain it, put it aside, and in the meantime, I have another small saucepan here ready to create our cheese sauce. For our cheese sauce, the first step is we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter here to our saucepan. We do wanna allow our butter to melt completely, and then we'll be adding in the rest of our sauce ingredients. Once your butter is melted down, we are going to add in our ground dry mustard. We're gonna go ahead and add that in. And you can do this to taste. I'm also going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And then we are going to add in one third cup of milk. We're going to add in our ricotta cheese. So we have one and three quarter cups of the ricotta cheese. And last, we're gonna add our shredded cheese. Now we want all of our shredded cheese, except for about a quarter of a cup or so, because that's what's gonna go on top of our mac and cheese. So we're gonna whisk this together, and that'll create our cheese sauce. Go ahead and grab out a nine by nine pan, spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. Here is our completed cheese sauce. Doesn't that look delicious? It is so creamy and cheesy. So to that, we are gonna go ahead and add back in our tortellini, but we are going to use a spatula to mix in our tortellini because we don't wanna destroy the shape of the tortellini. So we're just gonna gently fold it in with our cheese sauce. The cheese sauce, you guys, smells so good. Look at this, it is just thick and creamy and stringy because it is absolutely chocked full of cheese. And to that, we are gonna go ahead and add in about half of our Parmesan. And we have two tablespoons total of Parmesan cheese. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and put our tortellini cheese mixture into our nine by nine pan. And then we are going to top it with the remaining cheese. Look at this, yum, you guys, this looks so incredibly good. So the last step is we're going to take our remaining cheese and we're just going to sprinkle it on top and we're gonna do that exact same thing with that last tablespoon of the Parmesan cheese. And then this is going to just go into our oven for about 15 minutes or just until the cheese is melted. Everything is already cooked through, so it's just getting it nice and hot and getting that cheese melted. And here is our completed 
Decadent for cheese tortellini mac and cheese. I did add a little bit of pepper to the top. We're gonna put this in our 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Our mac and cheese tortellini is out of the oven. Look at how cheesy that is. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna allow it to rest for just a few minutes. It makes six servings, so you get quite a large serving. So let me cut this into the six servings. I'll plate it up and I'll be back to show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points. All right, so here's one sixth of the tortellini mac and cheese. You guys, this looks so delicious. You can have one sixth of this recipe for only six smart points. You could pair this with some chicken, you could add some vegetables, and you would have a complete meal for only six points. And mac and cheese and tortellini, all for six smart points. So definitely check out this recipe. It will be linked down in the description box below. And again, it is another masterpiece from Skinny Kitchen. Thank you again for joining me in this very fun collab hosted by Barbie Bolanos and Lauren over at Louise Lane. Again, their channels as well as all of the other channels participating in this collab are linked down in the description box below. Welcome if you came over from one of the other channels. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you head over to one of their channels from mine, please do me the favor and let them know I sent you. I'd love for them to know that you came over from my channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know, are you gonna try this recipe? Because you guys, it is so good. And the smart points, uh, yes, are amazing for mac and cheese. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.